Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Electrical Forensics. And we're going to do some Faraday cage testing. And we have a wide variety of Faraday cages that we're going to go through. And we're going to see how they perform around 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. And at the bottom of the screen, you can see that Wi-Fi unit. Uh, we have two meters. So the top one is reading millivolts per meter. Bottom one is reading milliwatts per meter squared. So I'm going to turn on the wireless router and we will get a signal in a few seconds. So the router is just initializing. And once it's initialized, it will turn on. And we should see a spike in the meter readings. And there we go. So let's start testing. So our first Faraday cage is going to be a plant pot. This is a standard metal plant pot and it's currently ungrounded. And that's what we're getting. So I'm now going to ground it. So the grounding cable is now attached and that's our reading. So I'm going to disconnect the ground. And we can move on to our next Faraday cage. It's slightly larger. Same kind of metal plant pot. And we're currently ungrounded. And I'm now going to ground the shield. So we now have a grounding cable attached and our Faraday cage is grounded. So let's move on to our next one. So our next Faraday cage is a metal trash can. And it's currently ungrounded. So that's what we get with a metal trash can. So let's ground it. So it's now grounded, and that's what we're reading. So, we're going to move on to aluminum foil. So we're going to start with the smallest of our aluminum foil Faraday cages, which is currently ungrounded. And that's our reading. So I'm now going to ground the foil. So the cage is now grounded, and that's what we're reading. So we're going to move on to our next cage, which is a little bit bigger. And it's currently ungrounded, and that's what we're reading. So let's connect ground. So we're now grounded. And that's what we're reading. And our final cage is the largest of the aluminum foil cages. And it's currently ungrounded. So that's what we get with an ungrounded large aluminum foil Faraday cage. So we're going to connect the ground. So the ground is now connected, and that's what we read. So we've tested all of our Faraday cages, and as you can see, they do differ between the different types of cages, and that was the purpose of this demonstration. Hope you enjoyed it, and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.